All of his children found that thing that they really love to do and are doing well at it. And mm -hmm. I believe that that's the key to it. A lot of times, and I'm guilty of this myself, we put on our children some of the things that we wanted to accomplish. We say, you should do this when in essence, you know, we were thinking that that's what you know, I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do, or that's what I should have done. And we put that unnecessary pressure, you know, and they say that too much pressure. Um, I've heard people say pressure bust pipes, you know, so if you're putting too much pressure mm -hmm. on children, mm -hmm. not allowing time for their creativity fl to flow, because that's the time where I feel like it's most important for children because creativity is flowing the most at the heights for children. And we don't let that flow because we're telling them what direction we should take. And I feel like we need to look at it as we are just guardians. We get caught up in our wording. Most of the time you may notice people say, my children, my children. We're just blessed to have them and to be guardianship over them. Exactly. That does not mean that we take over possession of their life. They will grow up to have their own life and to make their own decisions. And when we place our decisions on them, we confuse them. Sometimes when I look at kids today, most times, I remember as a child, I played outdoors all day. They come in for water, use the restroom, they eat. And just after we finish that lunch, back outside again. Did you have that same experience? Yes, I did, Nisi, and it was so fun. I I tell people all the time now, I enjoy my upbringing. Not to say that it was a perfect upbringing. I grew up in um, I grew up in the southern state on the east coast, and it was a very rural area. We played outside, we made mud mm -hmm. cakes, mm -hmm. we didn't wear shoes. And I mean, it was just like the funnest, most amazing thing that- Just free. We were free. Battle bikes, play games. That's a good word right there for it, Nisi. Free. It was yeah, we were free. Freedom. Yes. That's Even though we may have had chores to take care of before we went outdoors to play. And at the end of the night, we were tired. Of course. And we were ready to start the next day again. Ready to start again. Ready yeah. to start again. So, yes, just like you, I enjoy my childhood. And it's yeah. because of that. And, you know, because of the childhood I had, I should say, I cultivated or created lasting friendships. I still have friends that I'm in touch with, childhood friends, Childs I went to, um, um, friends I went to school with from elementary school, high school. So um, I, I, I believe it's, it's important to let kids be kids and um, just let them be and let them decide. I mean, they, they do need guidance. We have to be there. That's what we do. We're their parents or guardians. And don't forget, you know, um, growing up, as children, back in the time I grew up as a child, we had what we call the village, you know, where the adults, we had to respect the adults. You see somebody, an elderly person, you're passing the home, you say, good morning, Mr. Smith, or whatever the person's name was. Today, kids, um, I'm not sure, you know, they're into that. Everybody's so busy. So I don't know if these villages still exist. Do you know what's missing? I don't hear people say, yes, ma'am, no, sir. Well, I, I don't think that's in there, um, incorporated into the vocabulary today. They said yes or no. And that's something we were taught, you know, yes, Miss Smith, no, Mrs. Smith, yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am. But, it, you know, it's just a different time. It's just a different time, you know. But, you know, we just constantly, you know, 
just going like the energized bunny, not focusing on the little things, the communication. You know, I like face-to-face -face communication, talking with people, you can make eye contact, you look at the body language, but now we're doing, we're texting. It's, it's a different time. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, because if I need to get in touch with you or <laughs> anyone else, then I can't find out, send you a quick text and you respond. So, you know, we just have to go with the flow. You know, we just have to go, you know, you know, you know, life is just for living. You know, it's just for living, you know, um, we living, you know, we just live in the moment and um, because that's all we have. So it depends on how we spend our time and what we do while we're still here. And don't forget to take care of ourselves personally, since we're going, going, going all the time. Relax, exhale, as I usually say, and just focus on you too. You know, we try to do so many things. At one time, we want to be the super mother, the super employee. We have the family to take care of the children. And sometimes we tend to forget about ourselves. So it's important to just carve out some time, even if it's an hour or 30 minutes in a day, and let that be your time. We kind of forget ourselves sometimes. We're so busy doing for everybody else, and we kind yeah. of forget that we need nurturing too. You know, we have that to-do list. You know, we've got these long to-do to -do lists, and, and when you look at the list, you're crossing off things, but somehow you never get a chance to accomplish everything that's on the list. So the list continues. I'm guilty of that. You're guilty. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're just doing this, we have to do this, we have to meet there, we have to, all these things. The to-do list continues. And, you know, so sometimes you just have to say, look, when I get to it, I'm going to get to it. It depends now. You have to pride to write. Oh, no, I'm going to do what you said. When I get to it, I'm going to get to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, have, you, you can't neglect yourself. So sometimes you just have to um, take some time out for you. You talked about your friends that you had from growing up. Mm -hmm. and you still hold on to some of those friends or are in contact with the, some of those friends. Absolutely. Do, when you talk to them, does it kind of take you back and make you reminiscent of those we do that all the time? <laughs> we do that. You remember when? Remember this? You remember that? Yeah, we we talk about that all the time, which is good. You know, it. We look at that time you look where we are today and uh we just thankful for our accomplishments and look at you know try sometimes we look at the kids today and how we were growing up we don't we're not judgmental we don't make any judgment we just try to look at the differences you know what we did then and what kids are doing today so uh what else you want us to touch on that we you know because it's not often we get a chance to should chat. So, what do what do you think are some of those things that the children do today that they didn't do then, or what did they do then that they don't do today? The difference. I think we were more. Should I say supportive of each other? We were friendlier, if there's such a word. Yeah, we were friendlier. Uh, we went self-centered, selfish. Uh, we shared because I think it was something just of a nature to share. You know, sometimes I don't know if you remember that you may run into a, uh, a friend who had one candy, and that person might bite a piece of the candy and give you the other half. Remember those days? Yeah. We, we cared more. Um, I don't know how kids share today. Seems as though it's it's mine. It's all my meism. Yeah. So that is one of the differences. Maybe that's why our friendship, the bonding, the bond we created back then lasted. Because I believe it was a genuine friendship. Or friendships that that were cultivated. Can you attest to that as well? Yes, I can. I I can remember 
having friends and we would share our toys, something as simple. But now it seems as if toys are are, are not toys like they they're, were. They're computerized now. You know, everybody is playing a different game. But I remember we, we played um, our doll homes, doll houses, played with our dolls. Or even if we had a bike, one child may have a bike in the neighborhood, we shared, I'm going to ride here, you ride there. You know, we were just more of giving. We had a giving spirit. Yeah, I think that makes a difference too. And in society as a whole, because if you think about the fact that the children are not doing this as much anymore, and that generation is shaping society, mm -hmm. what is that saying about our society? But how do we change that? We can only be coach and mentor. And we set the example. That's what I was adults. just going to say. You took it we right out of the example as adults. So, you know, this coaching and mentoring, uh, and mentoring is critical. You know, so I, like I say, if you make a difference in one child's life, you've done well. I had an experience a few nights ago, one of my sons, uh, both of my children are adults, mm -hmm. and one of my, my sons, he called and he was complaining about the other one, <laughs> and I had to break it down to him, and, and I've done this to his, with his brother too. People are who they are. You just mm -hmm. got to accept who they are and learn how to deal with it in a way that makes things right for you mm -hmm. that keeps you out of dodge you know mm -hmm. so a lot of times it's about teaching each other or showing each other through that example mm -hmm. that I am willing to stand up to be the bigger person mm -hmm. people are surprised by that now I remember working in the hospital and when I first started working in this hospital, I go in and I'm used to, it's morning time. I'm greeting everybody. That's mm -hmm. my time of the day. Good morning. Of and course. they just looked at me like I had horns growing out of my I, head. I get those stairs sometimes if I'm in the parking lot going to the grocery store and I see someone. Um, sometimes people speak, they respond. Before I even say good morning, somebody may say good morning. But sometimes... When I say good morning to some people, maybe their thoughts are, I, I, I chalk it up that well, their thoughts are someplace else. They just give me a stare and say, oh, what's she talking about? But, you know, I just go, you know, you, we just got to do our part. That's it. It almost seems as if people are in defense mode. Yeah, sometimes I notice that. But like you said, if you know better, you just do better. Yeah. You know. But you would, you, because we can't change other people, we can just change or be who we are. So if we can be polite and say good morning, you may be brightening someone else's day. You just don't know. You know, God gave us his breath. So why not use it freely? That's true. Yeah. It, it wasn't hard to say good morning and give a smile. And I love the way I love the way that you say that you can't change other people. No. You really change yourself. That's you're deep. responsible for you. Your actions. You're only mm. responsible for you. You may disagree with what that person is doing. You may not be able to convince that person and say, well, this is how it should be. You don't need to do that. You just change your actions or your behavior towards the person. That's the solution, Nisi. All you have to do is tell everybody that. <laughs> I think I mentioned, I think I talked a little about that in one of my podcasts. I can't remember because, you know, sometimes, you know, I say so many things I can't remember. But, you know, that's the way to go. Why not? It wouldn't hurt. I think that was in the last one about understanding others. Could be, uh, was it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is that right. Understanding others. Yeah. So you're listening. You see, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Likewise. You know, I'm a fan of yours too. So, Thank um, you. 
you know, I, I, you know, what are your thoughts about the podcast platforms? 